for day number two. Do, 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 do. Didn't hit my mug. Number two. If I can get it out. We got. Ooh, chocolate macaroon. I've actually had this one before. Um, this is a black tea. It tastes like chocolate and coconut. It's really, really good. So, there you go. Tea Miss Day 2. All right, dear. Second day of Vlogmas. Number two. Number two. Or Stitch Miss. That's what I'm calling them. Stitch Miss. Yes. All right, what'd you get? I got something. See if I can get it open. It's taped up like it's Fort Knox. <laughs> the dogs both seem to think it's some sort of treat for them. We shall see. Ah, epoxy. Ooh. Super glue. How exciting. We do need some super glue. Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. Yay, day two. Please put it in. <laughs> Alright, so we're at some attractive angles. There's light behind me. Do I look like an angel? See, this is so you can't see the like horribleness that is my hair at the moment. That's alright. So, update on Timus. And good morning, because you haven't seen... Oh, jeez. You haven't seen uh, my face today. So, here is our tea. This is the chocolate macaroon. It smells like, like an Almond Joy. Jeremy... This is like chocolate and coconut. It smells like an Almond Joy. <laughs> it felt like an Almond Joy. <laughs> it tastes really good. Sorry, I was laughing at my husband. It tastes good too. <sighs> Tell me about the box of weird underwear we got from Lakey Fall. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess I'll tell you the story. So we were in Lake Eufaula, Alabama for Thanksgiving, and I had accidentally left a pair of my husband's overalls in one of the drawers in the hotel room, right? So I called them, and they were kind of weird. They were like, no, no, we don't have it. They searched the room. I'm like, okay, well, thank you, even though I know for sure that's where I left them. She calls me back like an hour later. Oh, we found them. And I'm like, great. And she's like, brown overalls. I'm like, yes, brown Carhartt overalls. She's like, all right, I'm going to mail them to you. I'm like, sweet. So I give her my address and all that jazz. So today, or yesterday, um, we get two boxes from the hotel. And I'm like, how did, did they cut the overalls up? Like, why are they in two boxes? I open up one of the boxes and there's my husband's overalls and a pair of like my maternity jeans which apparently I left there too so go me I was obviously paying attention to what was going on so that was fine the other box <laughs> I open it up and it's like someone else's clothes and there's a pair of like t it's like a pair of like tidy whities that had obviously been used if you know what I mean and like some pants and I'm like these aren't ours. So like the lady said she didn't like find anything and yet she then she confirmed that she found overalls but then sent me a different box full of someone else's clothes. I'll teach those Yankees a lesson. They're gonna get this underwear that they saved for five months. Yeah, that's what Jeremy thinks is like they just cleaned out the, the lost and found and found like old underwear and just decided to send it to us because they were irritated that they had to send us the overalls. I don't know, I'm just glad I have the overalls back, so there's my weird story of the day. Hey, Stitchmas. So, what am I doing? Well, it is now 12.30 in the afternoon, and I have been cleaning all morning, because as I said yesterday, I have actually a friend who's coming over today. I'm super excited. She's um, probably about a half hour away from my house now, and I haven't seen her in a long time. She's never been to my house. Um... Last time she visited, I think, was over two years ago because we've been in this house for two years, almost, I'd say two and a half years now. So she's never been here. So that's exciting. So I'm taking a little break. I just mopped the floor, the kitchen floor, and um, yeah, I'm just kind of relaxing. Um, Jeremy, it's a funny story. Well, it's not that funny. Our toilet, so she's going to stay in our basement because that's, we have um, extra bedrooms down there. 
and uh, it has its own bathroom, you know, and everything. Well, the toilet down there, um, like the, you know, the seal doesn't work. So like it's all loose and stuff. So the water will just keep running and keep running and keep running and keep running and keep running. So we knew about this. So we just turned the water off and we're like, yeah, we'll fix it later. Well, <laughs> I forgot I have someone going over and I'm like, oh my God, she's going to come over. And I'm going to be like, you can't even use the toilet down there. So then you have to come up here. And not that that's a big deal, I guess, but it's like embarrassing. Like, come on over to my house. Oh, by the way, my toilet's broken. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, which, I mean, there's two other bathrooms up here, so it's not really a big deal. But anyway, it's just, so Jeremy, like, I don't want to blame pregnancy because it's just how I am. I, I can just be crabby, especially when, like, I have people coming over and I feel stressed that, like, our house isn't clean or that, you know, whatever. I'm sure you guys can understand. But, like, I was just crabby pants this morning. And, yeah. Jeremy's like, do you want me to go get the parts and fix the toilet? And I'm like, no. Doesn't even matter. And I was all just pissy. Poor guy. He puts up with me. Like, I look all smiley and stuff in these vlogs, and I, I like to, I'd like to think that I have a positive attitude most of the time, but I can be real pissy when I want to be, and about, like, nothing, you know? I don't know. I just get stressed out, and maybe it's, I don't know. Him and I were looking at, we got a bunch of baby clothes from one of his coworkers, and so I was, like, going through those boxes this morning and, like, putting stuff away and... Like, then it stressed me out because the drawers and, like, the nursery aren't organized, even though I'm going to have to, like, wash it all anyway. And it's really stupid, but now it's, like, bothering me that it's not organized. And uh, I'm like, Rachel, you're not due till February. You'll get all this done. But then I was freaked out because, I don't know, there's this, like, whole baby shower drama that, I guess it's not drama, but I'm really conflicted. So, I'm not a shower person. Like, I mean, they're cool and all. And, like, you know, I've been to baby showers and stuff, and they're always fun. And I have nothing, like, against them. But, like, personally, I don't know. The thought of, like, going to something and everyone's, like, focused on you is just weird you know it's like I don't know I had a bridal shower and that was a lot of fun um but again that was another thing that I didn't know if I wanted to do or not I was like mm, I don't know so baby shower the other thing is uh so we live out in the middle of nowhere like you know nowhere and like I have friends out here and all that but, like, most of my family, in fact, all of my family is in the Twin Cities, which is, like, two and a half hours away from here, three hours, depending on how fast you drive. And then, you know, Jeremy's family is scattered about, like, in the cities and stuff. So, it's, like, I want to host it, like, close to me, right? Because it's, we're probably going to have it in December, and like the end of this month or early, early January, cause I'm due in February and like, that's all well and good, but I don't want to have to drive if like there's a snowstorm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have to go to the cities and host it in the cities because I don't want to have to drive and you know, Jeremy could go with me and like all that jazz, but I don't want him to drive. Like I just don't want to have to do it <laughs> either way. Um, so then I want to host it here, but then I don't, you know, then, then like my family and stuff has to travel and they are going to have to deal with the snow and I don't know, that really stresses me out <laughs> and you know how people can be. So I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to hang out at my house and like... <laughs> Just hope no one asks me about a shower and I'll just be like, yeah, I don't know. And then like the baby will be born and then we'll all just like go about our day. I don't know. Am I weird? Probably. Now I'm just rambling about showers. I don't know. I just, 
I have conflictions. I have conflictions. Plus, I feel weird about, like, the whole gift thing, you know? Like, I don't want people to feel obligated to come and give me something. And, I don't know, the whole thing just stresses me out. Does anyone else get stressed out by these types of things? What's funny is, like, going to showers, getting invited to showers or whatever, it doesn't stress me out at all. I'm like, okay, and, like, I just go get a gift and I just go and have a good time. And, like, it's no big deal. But, like, being the person of the shower really freaks me out and, like, just stresses me out and, like, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll host it here. Let's have a virtual shower. Let's do this. <clears throat> All of us will get together on Vlogmas. We'll, we'll do a live video and we'll just, like, have a shower and we'll all just, like, stitch <laughs> in our own homes in our pajamas and we'll go yay Rachel's having a baby Woo! And we'll all like try to do one length of pink 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 floss <gasps> that's what we should do that's what we should do okay we're gonna do at the end of December maybe January I'm gonna host a baby like a virtual baby shower and all you're gonna have to do is I'll come up with some hashtag and we'll post it on Instagram and like one day we'll just all like you pick your, we'll, we'll all just stitch with pink floss or whatever color, baby colors, I guess. And I'll do pink because I get to decide. I'm mom, right? So we'll, we'll make it a requirement that at least one length of pink floss and then you've participated in my baby shower. Do we like this idea? Am I crazy? Am I weird? I don't know, but I'm going to host it. So pay attention to my Instagram and I will put up the rules and stuff and I'll pick a day and we'll all just stitch with at least one length of pink floss and that will be my baby shower and that'll be like the best shower ever because then all my best friends are all stitching and that's all I want okay I like this I like this you're all invited anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and because it's been what eight minutes of just me talking and uh yeah I'm gonna vacuum the room I'm currently sitting in. This is my croft, by the way, way up on those stairs. I'm just sitting in the living room in, a, of course, my neon attire because I don't wear anything else. I mean, let's be honest here. If I'm not wearing an article of clothing that's not high visibility orange or high visibility yellow, and it's not a robe, those are like my, <laughs> those are my looks. <laughs> I'm either in high vis or I'm in a robe. I got two looks. And that's it. If you know that reference, let me know down below. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Bye! Hey, Stitch Miss. I have not filmed a whole lot. <laughs> because my friend's here. We've been having an awesome time. And uh, now we're playing a game, which I will show you briefly. But otherwise, ta-ta, guys. Still hear me. So for all of you, this is the gate. This is the Oregon Trail game. I've got cholera. Jeremy's dying of cholera. <laughs> and we're having a good time, but we have not yet made it to Willamette Valley. If any of you played this game, it's fun. We have inadequate grass. We have inadequate grass. Oh boy. Do we have adequate marijuana grass? Maybe this is a family channel. <laughs> That's true. Anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.